name is Ruth Miranda Justin. My metric number is 148012 and this is my video project for the course ZCT 206 Electronics. This project is called Super Lonely Project. These are the components that we use in the project. First, I use a 9V battery to supply power to the circuit. And then, I also use power supply module to connect the power supply to the circuit. I use a breadboard as a construction base for the prototype of my logic circuit and connecting wires to allow electrical current to travel from one point to another. A resistor of 100 ohm is used to provide resistance or limit the flow of electric current. Use some switches to connect or disconnect the conducting path in the circuit. Also, colorful LED lights to denote logic 1 for the inputs and also the output. The most important components are the logic gates. I use N gate, NOT gate, and OR gate. This is my logic circuit and this is the circuit diagram. This is the full truth table for my circuit. Now let's prove the circuit functioning according to this truth table. Now I will be proving my circuit according to the truth table. Here we have the power supply has been connected to the circuit, then an N gate, NOT gate, and OR gate over here. Input A, B, and C. For the first one, when all inputs are zero, the output is 1 and when input C is 1 the output is 1 but when input B is 1 the output will be 0 when inputs B and C are 1 the output is 1 while when A is 1 the output is 1. When A and C are 1, the output is 1. But when A and B are 1, <laughs> the output is 0. Last but not least, when all inputs are 1, the output will be 1. What will happen to the output if any of these inputs are not electrically connected to anything? Well, there is a condition that is called floating where it floats between 0 and 1. As you can see here, the inputs are all connected and the output is 1. Now we will be turning off the power supply and disconnecting input A. The power supply is on, but the output is zero. Now, disconnecting input B. Last but not least, disconnecting input C. As we can see, it is either 0, 1, or in between the binary values. The logic value cannot be determined, hence it is called that the pin is floating. There are a few problems that occur during the making of this project. The first one is, it is very difficult to find the components that I needed in the electronic shops in our local stores. So. To solve this problem, I searched for them online and bought them from online shops. The second problem is one of the LED burnt during the making of this project. So, to solve this problem, I replaced the LED with a new one so that this project can succeed. Thank you for watching my video.